Hey homies, your homegirl next door, Lauren Mack here. Now I'm always looking for cool and unique ways to display my family photos, but everything has been done, right? Until now. First things first, get yourself a piece of thin wood. This is called Luon and it's super affordable at any hardware store. You're gonna wanna have it cut to the size of your photograph. Next, you'll go to the trim department in your hardware store and they have this thing called 90 degree trim. And it sits just like this on top of your wood piece of backer board. Next, you'll wanna get a photograph. I picked this one of me and my baby. All right, so let's get started because there's two parts to this project. The first part is gluing all of the 90 degree angles onto your wood board. We're gonna glue it and then spray paint it. Check it out. Here's what it looks like all finished. And now I'm gonna go outside and spray paint it. And you wanna work with spray paint in a well ventilated area so that means no inside spray paint. Y'all hear me? All right, you don't wanna watch paint dry so let's get started on the photograph. I found this awesome picture of me and my baby. And so now all we're gonna do is measure out the back so we can cut it. I forgot to say ruler and marker. So make sure you have these two babies handy. And I'm just gonna mark one inches all the way down and I'm gonna do the opposite side. Just make sure that I can line the two lines up and cut exactly where it's supposed to go. Now I'm going to number each column so that I don't mix it up once they're all cut. Now with the ruler, I'm gonna line up my markings and I'm using a rolling cutter, that way I don't have to mess up. Now that we've got our back piece glued and spray painted, it's just time to glue on our photographs. Now on one side of one angle, I'm gonna glue one photograph, and on the other side of the other angle, I'm gonna glue the other photograph. And they're already numbered, so it's super simple. All you've gotta do is use our trusty, dusty rubber glue. This side is done, you're gonna do the same steps for the other side. Okay, the last piece is down. Now it's time to check out our work. Isn't that amazing? Think of all the possibilities that you can do with this. I just love the way this looks. And there you have it guys, a beautiful piece of 3D art for your home. But not only is it great in your home, it can also be great as a gift. So consider someone else's space when you create one for them.